I'm a rolling. They like I'm us. I'm a rolling. They're actually they're actually watching us, Paul. Can you believe that? Here comes Roy Rogers, clickety click. PT and LZ. Reminiscing. Doing the billboard thing. Which is what? Uh, we're uh, at 1953, and we're at number 14. And we're counting. What was that? What was that? Oh, <laughs> sound like a diesel engine coming through somewhere. <laughs> coming through the middle of the house. There you go. That's a song. Rusty Draper, remember? Uh, yep. Run Railroad through the, comes through, through the, the middle, middle of the house. house. Middle Railroad of the house. comes through the middle of the house. Comes you, right through the middle of the house where the company bought the land. You liked uh, Rusty Draper, didn't I you? I did, a lot. In uh, fact, you liked his uh, Shifting Whispering Sands, you know. and I liked the other version. I, I'm not saying I didn't like Rusty Draper, but uh, well, was it Rusty Draper that did uh, Goober Peas? Uh huh. No, no, peas, that was. Peas, no. peas, 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 eating Goober Peas. Goober Peas. how delicious, eating Goober Peas. Now, what do we got here? Cards. We got trivia cards. My wife, my wife got okay, what we're, doing, what we're doing mainly is counting down the top 30, which is going to change to the top 100, I think, or something yeah, like that. 1955. But we started in 1950, counting down the top 30 songs, and we're playing them, giving a little trivia about them, talking a little bit, joking around a little, and we're at 1953, Three. and we're ready to do the top 14? Right. Well, the top 14, so. Yeah, we throw a little stuff. Little stuff in here too now and then. Trivia cards, okay. Movie trivia. The questions. Who was Paul Newman Newman's co-star in the in HUD? I remember the movie and I remember him, but I can't remember who the co-star was. In the HUD? Yeah, the HUD. You remember the HUD? I don't know. The answers on the back. It says the answers to. To opposite side. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, oh, I, I was going to say, uh, to Edward G. Robinson, the jazz singer. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> Anyways, uh, the answer's on the back. Uh, Patricia Neal. There you go. Was the co-star. And Jack Nicholson. Oh, really? In the Wait a minute. It's, it's one. Oh, uh, it, it, there were two questions. Who was Paul Newman's co-star in HUD? And who played the insane father in The Shining? Yeah, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, that one I knew. Patricia Neal, I didn't know. Yeah. Anyways, we'll throw those in there now and then too. Yeah. How's that? Sure. Okay. We'll just leave them. You can leave them. We'll leave some right out there. I got television trivia here. You this one's television. a little easier. Yeah. Well, that's good. Throw them out there too. All right. Because I found one here that I thought was. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this wasn't it. But what what product? Oh uh, no. What product? What product? What, 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 product? what, what product country do you come to from? Be ninety-nine and forty-fourth, hundred percent pure. Pure. Uh, they never. Uh, 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 the soap. Uh, yeah, you got it. It was the soap, but yeah. I can't think of ivory. Ivory, ivory, ivory right. soap. Yep. Ivory there you soap. go. All right. Yep. All right. What do, I, what do I win? Do uh, you get the pat that? No. No, I know. Jeez, I, I tried. Anyways, okay, for our first song, okay. we, uh, yeah, well, you got the right page here? What'd you do? Screw up the paperwork already? No. How come I'm echoing so bad? Because I got to turn it up, turn it down over there. You got to turn it down a little bit. I mean, I don't care. That's there all we right. go. Just, okay, we did, oh, that's right, we did uh, St. Ah! I'll, I know, end, you know guess Freeburg. what guess what I found downstairs in my massive collection of garbage I mean records what a 78 version of Stan Freeber of uh, uh, Johnny Stanley's it's in the book and it's oh, really? almost brand new a 78 a 78, a 78. wow that's pretty good anyways we did dum da 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 dum da 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 <laughs> yeah Dragnet. Yeah. St. George in the Dragnet. Just right. the facts, ma'am. What's a what's how do, a fourteen? How do you how do you catch a dragon? With a net, ma'am. With a net, ma'am. <laughs> Just the like facts, ma'am. Yeah, something, yeah, like, something that. like that. Anyways, that's where we left off. Number fifteen, Stan Freeberg, Saint George and the Dragnet, one of many comedy songs that made the top charts through the years yeah and uh, I can't remember what the last one it was, but we had we had another one too that we did back in nineteen Oh, the thing. The thing. Phil yeah. Harris. Remember Phil Harris. that? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to do Richard Heyman, orchestra leader. Ruby. Ruby. And now, is that the that one, a... Rude, Don't Take Your Love to Town? Is that no, 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 okay. no, no. Right. 
because uh, I thought uh, Chris Christopher or Chris Christ I thought uh, Kenny Rogers did Kenny Rogers write that or not? I don't know. Oh, because he sang it with the fifth. With the fifth, fifth not the fifth dimension. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. First, first, first edition. edition. Yeah. <laughs> you and I both went to fifth dimension. I don't know. <laughs> I could see Kenny Rogers singing with the fifth dimension. Yeah, right. That would have been real good. It anyway. They're like too bright in my beautiful balloon. Ha hi. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Richard Heyman is right here. There's Dick Heyman. Uh, it's the Richard. same one, wouldn't it? It'd be Richard or Dick and the same thing? Dick Heyman trio. Now, wait a minute here. Hold on. No, it's Richard Heyman. H A H A. It's not H, that's H-Y. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to turn, you're going to get rid of the echo. All right. We're going to get rid of some of the echo here. It's bothering us. It's, it's, yeah, there you go. That sounds a lot better. But I mean, we don't care if we hear ourselves. We hear ourselves here talking anyways. Heyman, Richard Heyman and his orchestra. Here you go. Uh, orchestra leader and harmonica soloist. Well, I didn't know that. So we're going to hear a harmonica in Ruby. Where's our harmonica? I'll bet you. Anyways, it's right right in front in front of uh, our uh, tadpole there. No, wait a minute. What's he? Uh, not a is. tadpole. It He's is. a groundhog. He's mine. Something like that? Okay. Okay. This is Richard Heyman's son right here, the harmonica player. Uh, anyways, he helped arrange uh, background music for Meet Me in St. Louis and other films. Also a arranger for Vaughn Monroe. So he had a short uh, short list of uh, hits here, but Ruby was the big one, and it's from the movie and the film Ruby Gentry. Okay, that's where that came from. Okay. So let's hear it. The instrumental Ruby, Richard Heyman and his orchestra, number three in 1953, according to the Billboard charts. Yeah, and hit the button and play it. But he hit, he hit number 14. Well, I beg your pardon? 30, hit number 14 in the, the top, top, top yeah, 30. Yes, yeah, number 14 of, it will play. Year. Okay. Of 1953. It made number three in 1953. Right. Yeah. He did make number 14 in 53. <laughs>
Is he done yet? I think so. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong key. It was wrong everything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Ruby, Richard Heyman and his orchestra. I remember that song. I remember, I think my dad oh, yeah. used to play that all the time because he was he loved playing harmonica. I like your hat, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too. You see my hat? Yeah, I see a. What does that say? Rid, rigid. Rigid. That's a Home Home Depot brand ah, of tools. Okay. And I worked at the Home Depot for ten years, so I might just as well. I, I got my Lowe's hat at home. I should have worn my Lowe's well, hat. Well, you should. Then we could have gone Home Depot and Lowe's. The, yes, big, right. the big fearsome controversy or <laughs> Considering the competition. I usually, go, you know. I usually go to Menards. But anyway. Yeah, I know. You mean both. <laughs> I, go, I go into Lowe's every so often and see the well, manager called, of the Grand Haven store. And I go, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, yeah, I'm just I, checking prices. I called Lowe's to find a, a, a price for uh, element for the water heater. They didn't even carry it. So I called Home Depot. I couldn't get through. So then I called Menards, and they said, yeah, we got it. Come on down. Well, the home people, they, they were probably on the coffee break room. Yeah, yeah, or something, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, now we're going to get sued for, for bad-mouthing Lowe's. Bad-mouthing them, bo- yeah. I did bad-mouth them. I had a lot of fun working at the home I people. did, too. I got a lot of good deals. Worked at Lowe's, at too. Lowe's. Yeah. Didn't, I didn't work at uh, Menards, though. No, I never did either. Of course, we, we used shop to, there a lot. We used to call it Maynard's. Yeah. I don't think, but Menards isn't like a national thing. It's like a... Kind of semi local. Well, they, they are out of state. I, th- I, yeah, I did they? find out that they'd have something out of state, but regional, let's put it regional. I'll clean up on. Lo- oh, anyway. <laughs> okay. I did that wrong. It's supposed to be clean up on aisle four. There we go. <laughs> clean up in the men's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> PT has been in there. 